Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. In previous Lifestyle Medicine Updates, I've cited the emerging research showing how vitamin D may help to reduce certain cancers. Now, the research paper published in JAMA in August of 2023 provides further evidence of vitamin D's protective effects in this regard, so I want to share it with you. The study showed that providing patients who underwent surgery for their digestive tract cancer, so these are patients who had colorectal cancer, stomach cancer, esophageal cancer, or small bowel cancer, after their surgery, the ones that were given 2,000 IUs of vitamin D daily following their surgery resulted in a reduced risk of cancer relapse or death by 73% compared with patients given the placebo. That's remarkable. But the positive results were limited to patients showing positivity for what's called the P53 immunoreactivity. So this means that in many cases of cancer, the P53 tumor suppressor gene is mutated or dysfunctional. In these cases, the immune system produces antibodies against the abnormal protein produced by this faulty P53 gene. So these P53 gene defects and serum antibodies against P53 can be detected with our modern day technologies. Now as a rule, cancer showing a high degree of P53 immunoreactivity tend to be more advanced and more life-threatening. So the good news from this study is that providing patients with 2,000 IUs of vitamin D who had P53 positive immunoreactivity, so were very high risk for relapse, it significantly reduced their risk of cancer relapse or death once their digestive tract cancer was dealt with, first by surgical resection. Now regarding vitamin D's overall effects on cancer and immunity, the researcher stated, vitamin D was previously demonstrated to upregulate innate and adaptive immunity. That means that vitamin D is very important for your immune system to function properly. And part of what your immune system does is it finds cancer cells and knocks them out. A meta-analysis of randomized clinical trials showed that vitamin D supplementation reduced the incidence of acute respiratory tract infection compared with placebo. In addition, vitamin D supplementation reduced the risk of relapse in the subgroup of patients who had sufficient infiltration of immune cells into their tumor microenvironment in our previous research. So these researchers have looked at vitamin D before saying, when there's adequate vitamin D, the immune cells are working better, they can invade the, uh, the tumor and help the immune cells fight the tumor. They also noted that in, in the vitamin D and omega-3 trial, known as the VITAL trial, a 2,000 IUs a day of vitamin D, when it was administered, reduced all, all cancer mortality by 25%. So just in that study alone, you saw a 25% reduction in cancer mortality, uh, especially after the first two years of the study was complete. It takes a couple of years before you start to see the effects of some of these nutrients. As well, a 2023 meta-analysis of randomized clinical trials found that daily vitamin D supplementation was associated with reduced cancer mortality in the general population and improved survival in patients with cancer, although the results are still controversial. And they stated that the beneficial effects of vitamin D have been reported for cancers at various sites in the human body. Now, the present study included 392 patients with a history of surgically treated colorectal cancer, gastric or stomach cancer, esophageal cancer, and small bowel cancer. The post hoc analysis found that among the P53 positive immunoreactive group of 80 patients, relapse or death occurred in only nine of the 54 patients in the vitamin D supplementation, supplemented group, and 14 of 26 patients in the placebo group. The five-year uh, relapse-free survival was significantly higher in the vitamin D group than the placebo group, 81% versus 31%. As such, the P53 immunoreactive subgroup, in that group, daily vitamin D supplementation of 2,000 IUs a day after surgery reduced the risk of risk reduced the the uh, relapse of cancer and the death uh, rate by 73%. That's really a remarkable reduction, reducing cancer relapse 
and cancer death by 73% in a high risk group who've already had a digestive cancer is really impressive. As one of the researchers stated, the main findings of this study were that daily supplementation of 2,000 IUs of vitamin D a day reduced the risk of relapse or death compared with placebo in the P53 immunoreactive subgroup and suggests the importance of developing cancer immunotherapy targeting mutated P53 protein. So in the future, because this P53 tumor genetic defect and abnormal functioning of the P53 gene is so important to predicting uh, bad outcomes for people that if they can find an immunotherapy to target that, that would be very useful. In the meantime, we have vitamin D. So I think the takeaway message is once again to ensure that your vitamin D blood level is in the ideal range, which is between 75 and 150 micromoles per liter, or 30 to 60 nanograms per milliliter. This level of vitamin D is most strongly associated with a reduced risk of severe infection and also certain types of cancer. It also helps to reduce the risk of osteoporosis. Now, most people can achieve this level of this vitamin D blood level in the ideal range by simply supplementing with 2,000 IUs of vitamin D per day. So I've included the JAMA research reference in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.